so happy to be here. And I am here because my friend uh, Timothy Schreiber and my friend, the amazing, amazing Dr. Jenna Cole, have told me so many wonderful things about industry. I just had to come <laughs> see for myself. Thank you. And you know, all the years that I did the Oprah Show, 25 years, and we were number one for 25 solid years. And today I had an epiphany of why we were number one all those years. I think it's partly because Lolita was going around telling me Actually, I'd start waiting to see what form would it take. It didn't matter. Senator Obama, is that good? <laughs> Beyonce and all her Beyonce-ness <laughs> said to me, after handing me the mic and teaching me how to twerk, she said, is that all right? I said, yeah. I interviewed people who killed their children. I interviewed people who were behind bars. I interviewed people who were abused and people who did the abusing. And after every single interview, in one form or another, they would say, was that all right? Did you hear me? Was that okay? Was that enough? And what I started to realize, that there is a thread that goes through all of our questioning of ourselves as human beings. We all want to know this one thing. Did you hear me? Do you see me? Do you? Did you hear me and did what I say mean anything to you? So when I started to get that, and that's what everybody is looking for, every single person that you encounter, every argument that you ever have with your wife, with, with your friends, with your children, it's never about the thing that you think it's about. It's always about, but did you hear me? Are you hearing me? Can you feel that what I'm saying to you means something? harassment and battering by a boyfriend. And I said to her, please tell me what your intention is. And she said, well, I'm, I'm, my intention is I'm here because your producer is asking to be here. I said, yes, but what is the real reason you said yes? What do you intend to happen here? And she said, my intention is to let people know that my daughter's, my daughter's life was bigger than her death. Because everywhere I go, people only ask me about the death, how she was murdered. But my daughter had a real life. She was real to us. She was loved. And she loved us. And I want people to know that she was loved. And I said, OK, I'm clear about that. That's your intention. Well, my intention is to use your daughter's life to, in a word, exploit for the good your daughter's life. So that everybody watching this show will understand not only that your daughter was loved and that she lived a full life, but any young girl who is being battered or abused in any way will see herself in your daughter's life. That show was the first show that I actually won an Emmy for, where we locked and synchronized our intentions changed the way I operated the show, my businesses, my own personal life. Living with intention. And the thing that excites me the most about In Street is that you are an intentional-based organization to not just help and heal and get women to recover, 
but your intention is literally to transform their lives. To transform their lives. Today, we've heard from Linda and Lolita, who speak for hundreds of other women whose lives have been transformed as they were able to transcend their past, to step out of the history, to step out of the shame, to step out of the confusion and the chaos and the drugs and the sense of unworthiness and to reclaim themselves as rightful women people in the world. 